Do you have two left feet? Not a problem if you're choreographing your first dance. More and more couples are turning to a professional dance choreographer to help them with a wedding first dance routine. It's a personal choice. Some couples prefer to sway romantically, others find it a wonderfully bonding experience to learn a special dance routine for the day. How soon should you start lessons? Remember, you don't have to be a dancer to take dance lessons. Hi, I'm Todd Russell from Arthur Murray Dance Center of Guilford. By the time this edition is over, you'll know and understand why you should consider a choreographed first dance, plus I'll answer the many questions that you may have about a wedding first dance routine. Listen now and discover insider secrets about choreographing your wedding first dance for a stress-free, fun, and memorable day. Our podcast helps engage couples navigate wedding planning complexities while addressing family expectations. Get concise tips on budgeting, wedding party management, ceremony, reception planning, and more. Perfect for anyone planning a wedding, all in 30 minutes or less. Welcome to Stress-Free Wedding Planning, the podcast that will transform your wedding planning journey from chaotic to enchanting. Sal and Sam bring over 80 years of combined wedding expertise and exclusive insider information to the table. If you're recently engaged, feeling the pressure of wedding planning, struggling with family expectations, but still dreaming of a joy-filled wedding, you've come to the right place. Get ready to unveil the best-kept wedding secrets, discover practical tips and strategies, and learn life-changing lessons for a stress-free wedding. You're your unforgettable wedding day awaits. We're here to take you on a transformative journey of love, laughter, and memories. So don't miss out on the podcast that just might change your life. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam. Hi, I'm Sal of After Hours Events in New England. I have performed at thousands of weddings in my 40 years as a professional MC DJ. Weddings are my passion. Hi, I'm Sam from Atmosphere Productions. With decades of DJ experience dating back to the mid-70s, I've rocked the airwaves, pumped up nightclubs, and made thousands of weddings unforgettable. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam. Learn more about our experience and journey to help you with stress-free wedding planning in the trailer or pilot of this podcast. In today's edition, Choreographing Your Wedding First Dance is brought to you in part by Clear Vision Productions and the Wedding Stars of Connecticut Wedding Shows. But first, if you have a question or concern, go now to Facebook and join us on the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Community and ask away. You're listening to the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast. Well, let's welcome Todd. Todd, how you doing? I'm doing great. How you both doing? Very good. Oh, we're awesome, awesome. And now that you're here, you know, everyone knows that the couple will be in the spotlight on their wedding day from the moment they walk down the aisle until the moment they leave the venue. So why is it important that their first dance be something special for their wedding? So we believe that the first dance should be something special for the wedding, mostly because this is the, the time where the couple gets to show themselves alone out on the dance floor. And it's like a peek into their relationship and who they are. We find that when all the eyes are on them, we want them to be able to create something that's beautiful, memorable, and uh, something that they'll appreciate in the future, but others will remember in the future also. So we're a believer of less stress for everything. So we, we always want to help our couples with that. Now, I've always told couples, hey, if you're going to take dance lessons, it's important to take it early enough so it is almost like muscle memory when you're out there having your first dance. When do you think a couple should start going for dance lessons? We used to say three to six months in advance, but I would say if you could do more than six months, that would be a much better option. You know, where the, the flowers are set up by somebody else and, and you pick a playlist that you might want with the DJ. When it comes to dancing, I can't go out there and replace you and dance for you. So we need to teach you everything you need to know in advance. So that way you feel like you own it rather than just trying to memorize something that we just showed you a little bit before. I agree with you there, Todd. I would even say do it even further than that, six months if you can, because the more time you can have that muscle memory, the better. And I think it also solves another problem. Dancing is a great way to get stress out, right? A hundred percent. We find that those that start early enough enjoy it as a date night and a fun uh, bonding activity together as a future husband and wife versus they do it late in the game. It's usually a stressful activity because there's just so many other details that you have to remember and prepare for in, in dancing and remembering your first dance could be a challenge. So 
Yeah, the more time you're able to do, the better. We actually have a couples in the studio currently who are about a year out from their wedding, and they've really just been enjoying the experiences, an opportunity to bond together, connect, and have a stress-free and good time as they prepare and become the dancers that they'd like to be. Something I always tell couples, you know, nine months to a year is very important because if you do it too late, you... It almost becomes a stressful thing for the day. You can physically see them counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or looking at each other's feet. So you want it to become a very smooth process. And earlier, I always think is always better. And I love the idea. You say it's, you know, a date night, you know, something to relieve stress and uh, have a little fun. That's just such an awesome thing. And it's funny you say that about the, the seeing the looks on their faces and, and how they're counting and they look stressed as they're dancing. And we speak on that a lot too, because you have a photographer or your, your friends and family are going to have their phones out taking recordings. You want to look like you're enjoying yourself and not like this was the most miserable three minutes of your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. So, you know, one thing I, t I always told couples to go, look, if you make a mistake, no one knows it. Exactly. Yeah. Nobody knows your choreography. Nobody knows what you came out there to dance. We give people the option because a lot of times people come in, their expectations are very low of what's possible. So for most couples, we, we typically start off with the basics of the dance. So that way they could start to develop the confidence and see what's possible for them if they decide to do a choreographed dance or if they just want to learn how to be a, a lead and follow the first dance, you know, and just have a romantic moment together. It's fun watching as they come in, they start new, they have very little thoughts on what is possible. The bar is very low. And then we show them how you have what it takes. Now it's just a matter of creating muscle memory, learning the dance and uh, making it into something that's special for the two of you. I'm glad you mentioned that, Tug, because I was going to ask you, walk us through the process of what happens when somebody wants to learn a first dance routine. Yes. Yeah, so the, the process of going through a first dance routine, when most people come in, we typically see that they're there because they don't want to do like the typical eighth grade sway for the next three minutes because they know how awkward and weird that's going to be standing in front of their hundred guests, just swaying back and forth. So our goal is to show them, first off, what do you envision for your first dance? What would you like it to be? Do you want it to have some spins? Do you want it to have a dip? Do you want to move gracefully across the floor? Do you want it to be a little more upbeat and have something a little more non-traditional and exciting and different? Or do you want something a little more traditional or romantic? So we want to identify initially what they want to look like and what they want to feel like. Then from there, we, we teach elements of dance because the goal is to connect what they do in their everyday life to what dancing is, right? And, and show them that dancing is just not a, a something that you're born with. I think that's always, a, that some people are like, well, I don't have any rhythm, so I don't think I could dance. Our goal is to show you, like, you have a heartbeat, so you must have some rhythm. You're still here. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. love that. So, Todd, uh, let us have your social media. Tell us how couples can get a hold of you. Yeah, so you can find us on Instagram at Guilford Arthur Murray or on Facebook at Arthur Murray Dance Center of Guilford. More on choreographing your wedding first dance right after this. This is the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast with Sal and Sam, a podcast for engaged couples concerned about wedding planning and family expectations, but who want to have a stress-free, fun, and unforgettable wedding. Wedding Tip Wednesday is brought to you by Emerge Cosmetics. Are you ready to emerge? Our line of lipsticks, lip glosses, and mascaras was created to empower and become who you truly are. Strong, beautiful, and confident. Use the coupon code SF1 at EmergeCosmetics.com for an instant 10% off. That's coupon code SF1 at EmergeCosmetics.com. Emerge is the true you. Welcome to another Wedding Tip Wednesday. And on today's Wedding Tip Wednesday... Have a full-length mirror. What does that mean? Well, wherever you get ready on the day of your wedding, ensure that you have a full-length mirror. This is so important because it'll be great for you to see your wedding attire from top to bottom. This also goes for the gentleman, too. Oh, this is very important because you want to get that full length view of yourself just in case there's any imperfections that you could fix, like the gentleman having their pant leg tucked into the sock a little and they didn't realize it's not laying properly. 
and the wedding dress. You want to make sure everything is perfect. So full length mirror, you get to see everything and make sure everything's perfection before making your way out. And that's another tip from Sal and Sam. Wedding Tip Wednesday is available on the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Facebook group page every Wednesday. Join the group for free. Join us for one of the most fun, interactive, and informative wedding planning events in Connecticut. Happening on Sunday, January 21st from 11 to 2 at Woodwinds, located at 29 School Ground Road in Brantford, Connecticut. You'll enjoy a full buffet of Woodwinds gourmet specialty chicken and pasta favorites, past and stationed appetizers, entertainment, dancing, and so much more. Meet some of Connecticut's best wedding professionals and receive a free goodie bag. Reserve your general admission or the new VIP tickets for the Woodwinds Wedding Show on Sunday, January 21st from 11 to 2. Go to WeddingStylesOfCT.com. That's WeddingStylesOfCT.com. Don't know what to do for your first dance? Is your future spouse having trouble picking a song to dance with their parent? Worry no more. I have the answer. Go to AfterHoursEventsOfNE.com forward slash contact guest. That is C-O-N-T-A-C-T-G-U-E-S-T. And you'll be able to listen to hours of music to help you select the right songs for your upcoming wedding. Again, go to AfterHoursEventsOfNE.com forward slash contact guest. On your big day, everything must be perfect. That includes your first dance. Hi, I'm Todd Russell from the Arthur Murray Dance Center of Guilford. And our goal is to give you the confidence to melt hearts with your first dance. We teach you and your partner the skills to dance throughout your reception, no matter the music. But most importantly, you'll make memories and learn something that you and your partner will share the rest of your lives. Visit our website, arthurmurrayguilford.com. It's all one word, arthurmurrayguilford.com. Do you want access to a stress-free wedding planning process? Then go to our website, all the w's.atmosphere-productions.com and get my free report. Eight questions you must ask a wedding professional before booking them. Get it today. That's all the w's.atmosphere-productions.com. Look for the free report and learn to shop like a pro from a pro and go from concern and worry to stress-free wedding planning. You're listening to Sal and Sam on the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast. I'm Dominique Renee from Alon by Dominique Renee Salon, and I listen every week. You can listen and download online from iTunes, Google, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. And now back to the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast. Welcome back to our discussion about choreographing your wedding first dance. Hi, I'm Sam from Atmosphere Productions. Wedding entertainment with expert knowledge and the difference in quality. Hi, I'm Todd Russell from the Arthur Murray Dance Center of Guilford. I'm Sal from After Hours Events in New England, the leader in making your wedding stress-free. Now let's talk about song selection. Todd, how should couples go about selecting their first dance song to be choreographed? Yeah, it's funny you ask that. A lot of times we'll have couples, they'll come in and they'll ask us to suggest a song for their first dance. And typically I push back because I need them to pick something that speaks to them, something that they're in love with, especially if they're coming in, we're going to be listening to that song often. So I want them to have a connection to that song rather than having me just pick a song that I might think that I might like, but they might not even care about. So we always suggest, I want you to pick something that means something to you. So that way we can work on it together and create something that's beautiful that both of you are going to love 10, 15, the rest of your life, look back and have fond memories of. Todd, I'm so glad that you said that you don't pick the song for them because they definitely should be connected to this. This is something that should be special to them. This is something they're going to remember forever. And nothing like having a first dance song that you really had no interest in. So that is absolutely beautiful. Todd, are you noticing that parents are joining in on lessons also, and maybe even the wedding party? So that's actually one of the great things about learning the first dance. Once the couple is in the door and they're enjoying themselves and they're having fun and learning something that they could use at the wedding, but even beyond, they start to get excited for their parents to come in and join also. And in some cases, we've even had the wedding party come in, enjoy the dancing, and the, the people in the wedding party who might be getting married in the future or just wanting to do something fun and different, come in and learn how to dance themselves. Yeah, something I found that's very cool. I've had a few weddings where the couple has gone for dance lessons and it showed they were very fluent. It was great. They went early enough, which was awesome. But what also happened is our brides actually brought their dads into the studio and 
learn a dance together. So when he had the father daughter dance and so did the groom for his mother son dance. So I think that just looks so cool. And it's, uh, it's such a beautiful thing. And I'm glad that people are doing that. Yeah, it's great. It's so funny you mentioned that too, because we typically see the mother son dance as something slow and it's something that's very tender and close to that mother son bond. And then for the father daughter, a lot of times the fathers come with something that is, is very slow and tender also, but then it turns into something fast and fun and a bit of a surprise to everybody who's watching. Todd, I think that one of the reasons couples should do a choreograph for a stance is not only that it will impress their guests, because obviously that's the reason why they're doing it, but if they're having video, isn't it just an amazing video that could be taken of this choreographed dance that will be that will be there for ever for their kids to see them do an impressive first dance. Well, we agree also. Having a choreographed first dance is an amazing thing and it is a memory and something that the bride and groom will have forever to share with their kids and their grandkids. It's a beautiful thing. You know, and it's funny too because our goal is to create something that's going to be romantic, create a connection be able to show the personality of the couple themselves. So that way, when they're out there, they're dancing in front of their guests and their family, they feel confident, they feel comfortable, but it shows in how they're moving too, right? The, the gentleman isn't giving a, a thousand yard stare through his wife as he tries yeah. to remember uh, the count of the pattern that he's doing. These are the pictures and videos that are going to last forever. So making sure that they're able to, whether it's an over-the-top choreography or just something very basic and romantic. We want them to look the part so that way the pictures and videos are something they're excited about looking back at and not something they quickly skip past when they're going through their wedding book. Definitely, definitely. One thing I like to tell couples or you know suggest to couples is that uh, if you're doing a choreographed dance, is to uh, make it a surprise to everyone. So don't uh, start telling everyone about it or telling even just a few people because it gets around very quickly. We know how the rumor mill starts real quick. Making it a complete surprise so it's a more awe type thing for their wedding. Do you agree with that? Do you say anything about that? Occasionally we'll have couples that'll come in and they'll tell us like, oh, our friends and family, like they don't think we dance and or they know we don't dance and we're here to do this as a surprise to them. Sometimes they let their parents know because obviously they're going to dance with the mom and the father next. A lot of times when we have couples who do come in and they decide to make it a surprise, it's always exciting when they come back and tell us how much everybody loved the first dance, how it blew people away that they were able to do something that nobody thought they had in them. And we always tell them, oh yeah, tell them that you've always known this all your life. So final question, Todd, what makes Arthur Murray Dance Center of Guilford different? We believe here that our choreographers and our instructors, when they're first working with any couple, we always want to meet them where they are, understand who they are and what they want in their big day, in their first dance. And we work to take them from the level that they're at and bring them to the level that they dream to be at. We've had a lot of happy couples that have come back and shared their experience in their big day with us. I think the other thing too is, uh, you know, over the past few years, I think we've learned the importance of uh, experiences and doing things together. And um, I believe that the, the wedding day itself is a huge thing, but also the things we do in preparation for the wedding. So being able to not just have the couples come in for their first dance, but when we're able to see our couples bring in their friends, their, their parents, and do something that's special and creates memories in advance of the wedding and in, in preparation for a really special day. So yeah, how we are able to bring not just the wedding, the bride and groom in, but doing things with the wedding party too we feel like is a huge deal. We're talking with Todd Russell from Arthur Murray Dance Center of Guilford. Todd, give us those socials one more time. Yeah, so you can find us again, Instagram, Guilford Arthur Murray, on Facebook, we're Arthur Murray Dance Center of Guilford, and you can always visit our website. It's arthurmurrayguilford.com. That's all one word, arthurmurrayguilford.com. Thank you so much, Todd. We want to thank you for being on our podcast today. We greatly enjoyed it, and you gave us a lot of great information. So hopefully some couples will start calling and getting ready to do some choreographed dancing for their wedding. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks for having me on, Sam and Sal. So there you have it. We just shared with you choreographing 
the wedding first dance with Todd Russell from Arthur Murray Dance Center of Guilford. He answered the questions that you need to know when planning your first dance routine. Now, as you spend the next week planning your wedding, if you want me, Sam, or our community of stress-free, engaged couples and wedding experts to answer any wedding-related questions, join us over in the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Facebook group. Once you're in, go ahead and share your concerns and worries, and we'll let you know if you're on the right track or if there's something we need to work on. The link to join us is in the show notes of this edition. Or... Go to Facebook and search for the Stress-Free Wedding Planning Community. A new edition is released every Wednesday. Subscribe and get it first. Remember to do something nice for someone today. And if you can't, do something nice for yourself. We'll catch you then. Ciao. Thank you for listening to this edition. If you've enjoyed what you've just heard, leave a review and share it with a friend or someone who would benefit from this information. Until next time, it's TTFN. That's all for now. The Stress-Free Wedding Planning Podcast is produced and copyrighted by Atmosphere Productions in association with After Hours Events of New England. Sponsored in part by Clear Vision Productions and the Wedding Styles of Connecticut Wedding Show Series.